This is the award-winning Ernest Angley Hour, proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ to all nations. I believe in miracles because I believe in God. As you watch today's program, reach out in faith and allow the Lord to minister to your personal needs. You can have a miracle. And here is God's man for this hour, Reverend Ernest Ainsley. Greetings in the name of the Lord and a very Merry Jesus Christmas to all of you watching today. I'm the Reverend Chris Mockamer. I'm an associate pastor at Ernest Angley's Grace Cathedral, and I will be your guest host for a special Christmas program. Yes, you'll enjoy good Christmas music and singing throughout the program and a special Christmas message by the Reverend Ernest Angley. Christmas morn, a peace I'd never known before. When Jesus came to me, he calmed my troubled sea. He brought peace to earth that Christmas morn. In a tiny stable on Christmas Day, a light shined from heaven on a baby. Face. Born of a virgin and laid in the hay, and Jesus was his name. He brought joy, great joy, on that first Christmas morn, a joy unspeakable to me. When Jesus made me new, he thrilled me through and through.
this day. Now taking you into Ernest Angley's Grace Cathedral and you will enjoy part two of Reverend Angley's Christmas sermon, Come to the Stable. Listen. I humble myself under the manger in the, the divine humility. That's the only place for you. And it has to be divine humility, the kind of humility that Jesus brought. You must remember that he brought all divinity, nothing less all divinity that he brought. And through that divine love, that first love, we have it all. He wrote to one of the churches, dictated the letters to seven churches. And one church, the first church, he told them, your works have been wonderful, but there's one thing I have against you. You've left your first love. Repent or I'll remove the candlestick or the candle holder, which is the church. I'll take the church away from you, the spiritual church. You'll have it no more. Then he promised another one of the churches in the letter, because you've kept my promises, you've kept my word, I will keep you from the hour of great temptation that's coming upon the earth to try all peoples of the earth. That's our promise. We're getting out. It's almost go home time, and we're living with that anointing, the manger anointing, the stable anointing. You can't find it anywhere else. That's where heaven came down. That's where you'll find heaven. That's where you'll find it. That's where I found it. That's where multitudes have found it. Millions have found it through this Jesus World Outreach Ministry. Millions more will find the truth. And the King of Glory said, Learn me, and you'll be free. Learn me, learn the Son of God, and you'll be free. He said, bring your burdens to me. Do you ever hear anybody in the world saying that? He is rich beyond compare. He came that we to make us rich. The Bible says he made himself poor to make us rich, and we are rich in the glory of the Lord. We're rich in heaven's riches. We're rich, we are rich in that which, is, which really counts. We have a whole city that belongs to the children of God, and man didn't even touch it. God built it in his own way with his own hands. And the streets were of gold. The gates, 12 gates, one pearl. Think about it. Billions and billions and trillions and more trillions of dollars in Earth's money. Twelve foundations all garnished with all kinds of precious stones. That's what we have inherited in people selling their souls to the devil for a few diamonds, a little bit of gold, and a little bit of silver. Washing the golden calf. And that's the reason they're not receiving anything from heaven. They could have abundant life. They, they don't see Jesus. They don't feel his love. They don't sense his love. They don't sense the crucifixion. They don't 
took since the whipping post where he about gave his life for our physical healing. Oh, come to the stable. I plead with you, come to the stable and see the virgin king. It's worth a lifetime of experiences, just one visit to the stable, one look into the manger, and you'll never be the same if you really want to see. And ask the Lord to open your eyes. Let the scales fall from your eyes. He'll let them fall. That anointing will take the scales away. You'll have more and more than 20 vision, 20, 20 vision. You'll have heaven's vision. And as you look into the manger, you'll see deliverance, the born again experience for all the Nicodemuses. Nicodemus, you must be born again. He did not compromise with anybody. Nicodemus, it's a must. Nicodemus got that born again experience. He came by night, but the Lord turned on the light. He found his place in the stable that night. He found himself under the manger that night in the humility of Jesus. He left there in the light of heaven and the lamb will light up the city. Need no electric lights there. The lamb will light the city for us. And we are his lights. Come to the stable if you're not one of his lights and become one of his lights. You will shine in the righteousness and the holiness of the Lord. No other way to heaven. And straight is the gate, narrow is the road. And straight is that gate, and narrow is that road that leads to heaven. No other road. There's just one road, one road that goes there. One. There's no detours, no detours, no stopping where it's ever onward. We're moving on to heaven like Abraham. He found it. It's recorded in Hebrews 11th chapter. It's recorded there in all faith. He found the city. He journeyed looking for it in tents with his immediate family and with his herds of sheep and goats and so forth. But he found it. He's there tonight. We'll see him at the marriage supper of the Lamb. That's going to last for seven whole years. Look into the manger. That's the only way you're going to see the soon coming of the Lord. It's almost midnight. Doomsday clock is ticking fast, and it's about to strike 12. It's doomsday. The scientists call it the doomsday clock. We don't have much, many more minutes left. They say the earth is going to be destroyed if something isn't done. Well, our earth is not going to be destroyed. No, we're coming back with Jesus when the curse is lifted from the earth. We're going to live and reign with him a whole thousand years. It's all in the stable, in the manger, in Bethlehem. And by faith, you can find your way there. The wise men, they started on a journey. It took them two years to get there. They followed the star. And what a star. No wonder they didn't lose their way. No wonder they could see even at night to travel. They probably traveled a lot at night because it was hot, hot, hot. But they didn't lose their way. I've seen that star. It's hard to tell how many hundreds and thousands of times. Yes, thousands. It has so many manifestations. If I were an artist, I couldn't do it justice at all and wouldn't dare try it. The star of over that stable that night. Looks there, oh, if only people had been looking for him to come, but such a few were watching. Such a few were ready for him to come, just as it is tonight for his second appearance. Such a few ready after all that he has done. Come to me with the stable tonight in all humility. And though your sins are red as scarlet, they shall be turned white as snow. You'll be forgiven. You'll have a new life and a new road to travel and blessings daily. The psalmist said, he loadeth me down daily with his blessings. How much more so since there's the, babe, the virgin babe in the manger, the little king, 
the little virgin, the virgin birth, had brought it all. Not on his way, he's already come. And when the people were hungry, he fed them with a few loaves and fishes. When they're sick and afflicted, he healed them by laying hands on some and speaking to others. He didn't heal them of just one thing. He healed them of everything, like he did me that night. And when I have my yearly checkups, they say I have a perfect heart. They've, they just, the nurse said she'd been nursing 27 years. I've never seen a heart in a man your age perfect like this. There's not one tiny speck of anything showing on the machine. Reverend Angel, you got to see this. You got a perfect heart. Well, I knew I had a perfect heart in the Lord, but I had, for her to tell me, I had a flesh perfect heart. That was good too. That was wonderfully good. And you can have perfection in the Lord. And Jesus in the Sermon on the Mount, he's all grown up that when he preached that sermon. I preached about half of his sermon on the Mount where he preached it. Plenty of room up there. I had hundreds of people with me on that tour. We had a great time. I think there were eight buses and I got there before they did on the Mount. And you could see them coming in those eight big buses around those curves, way down in the valley, coming from Jerusalem. And we had one great day in the Lord. I felt such an honor to be there and tell, repeat his sermon, part of it, just part of it. I didn't have time for all of it. Be you perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect. And when you're perfect in the Lord, there's nothing to be added. You're ready to work. You're ready to give him everything. You're ready to do whatever he wants done. He is paramount. He comes first in your life. And you know that you're not your own. The Holy Ghost doesn't have to remind you that you're not your own. You know you've been bought with a price, fully paid for. And how much do you owe for love divine? How much do you owe since Christ is yours and mine. Tell me tonight, come to the stable. Come to the stable of love, grace, and wisdom, and knowledge. Come to the grace of healing and miracles. Come, come, oh come. Come, come, come. come. And come to the stable. No other place that you can go to find abundant life. No other place you can go that you won't have to be at the white throne judgment. It's come to the stable of forgiveness. And he said, if you would repent with godly sorrow, godly sorrow, you have to be as sorry for the sins that you've committed as God is that you committed them. That's godly sorrow. Nothing less will do godly sorrow. And the Lord Jesus said, you would be forgiven. And the veil in the temple was rent from top to bottom when Jesus died on the cross and cried to his father, it is finished, bowed his head and died. But no man can take my life. The virgin king had said, I lay it down and I'll take it up again. He did. He laid it down for all of us. And then he had won. He walked out. Thank God he walked out. They found an empty tomb. Many soldiers were there, but they came, became as dead men. Get the picture of it. We don't have to worry about this hour. It's the worst hour that's ever been. America as a whole has forgotten the true Jesus. They've forgotten the virgin birth if they've ever remembered it. Some of them have never heard it and don't want to hear it. Look how false religions have taken over America. Used to, you could preach anything on the air about Jesus. Nowadays, they rise up from Washington on up and down. 
truth is trampled in the streets and God's got just about enough. The Antichrist was born in 1968, the latter part. He's on earth and alive and the forerunner is alive today in the form of a human man, the devil's man. Think about that one. It's a takeover. It's a takeover. But we can't let it influence us. That spirit's influencing people for wrong, 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 wrong. And that spirit of Antichrist, people be falling down before their television screens after the rapture takes place to worship him. When they worship him, they'll seal their doom. They will blaspheme. People's already blasphemed today. Preachers are blaspheming. Churches fall away from God, even Pentecostal churches. They're not on fire. They don't feel the need of the Holy Ghost. They don't feel the need of living free from all sin. Some of them are teaching, some Pentecostal preachers teaching that nobody can live free from sin. And it's in other dead churches too. That's death. The soul that sinneth shall die. The wages of sin is death. That's the message that came in the manger. And that's stable. We have the virgin king. He's alive. It's not I that liveth, Paul said, but the virgin king lived within him. He said he had committed all into his hands. We can say the same thing. We're drawn to the manger. We're drawn to the manger. And every move of the babe in the manger, the virgin king brings miracles and healings to those that are under that manger. As the little straws are falling, people are being healed. The anointed straws from that manger. Healing from heaven has come. Healing from heaven. He said he would even renew your youth. The angel Lord stands beside me and gives me such strength. That anointing from the stable that night, I have it. It's here tonight. Maybe that angel was there. Maybe that was the one that announced to the shepherds to go to Bethlehem. The virgin king had arrived. It could well have been, could well have been. I wouldn't be surprised. But all I know, the Lord calls this his big angel, and that's enough for me. He's always with me when I pray for the sick. When I minister tonight in the healing line, he will stand by my side. He moves, he stands as tall as I am. He's to my right now. Others have seen him, more will see him. In our last crusade, a deaf and dumb 13-year-old girl, never spoken a word in her life, never heard a sound. From my understanding, the mother was with her. She got her miracle instant. It was a miracle, just like that. She could hear and speak, and then said the next day, she was just rattling off. God had gifted her to speak. And she told her mother, said, before I got to the platform, I saw an angel standing beside Reverend Angelie. Her little innocent eyes had seen the angel. Her faith was heaven high. Others have seen the angel of the Lord. A little boy, three or four years of age, saw the angel of the Lord. Really saw him because the mother was in the balcony and was telling his mother that the angel was standing by Reverend Angelie that down there on the platform and she grabbed him and said, oh, no, honey, that's Reverend Angelie in his white suit. Oh, but mama, the angel is standing beside, Jesus is standing beside her, the angel is standing beside Reverend Angelie. He is seeing the angel of the Lord. And the mother knew that, so she shut up in a hurry. These things are real. Come to the manger. God gave me a great song Come, come to the stable, a station of wonder, station of peace, 
understanding like you've never had before. Of putting a station where lives are put back together. Divorced people are brought back together that God can use them together. Others will never be brought back. One will separate because the other one wasn't right with God. They'll never be back together. But this station can bring lives together and bring children and parents together and make lives, make lives and make you whole, make people whole. The millions can be healed and delivered if they'll just humble themselves under the virgin king's manger. And the healing power is there. The humility is there. Divinity is there. Hope is there. Hope that maketh not ashamed. Faith is there. Divine faith, that is. Divine patience is there. Divine goodness, divine mercy, divine determination, divine wisdom and knowledge, divine salvation, the divine baptism of the Holy Spirit. You find it all. Come to the stable if you haven't found it. And come to the stable and dine tonight if you have found it. Come and dine, come and dine, come and dine with the Virgin King. You'll have understanding. You'll be wide awake. You'll be ready if you'll stay with that humility under the manger. The miracle straws and on its straws will be falling and bring life, life. He brought life and he said, not only life, but that you can have abundant life. Oh, come to the stable tonight. The anointing is here. You that can tune in, the millions that can tune in by television, radio, and so forth, come. Come to the stable tonight. I plead with you to come. And under, the, under that manger, you'll find that that you've been looking for. You'll find the peace you've desired. You'll find the hope of heaven you always wanted and couldn't find. It isn't in church membership. No, you have to be born new. You'll find it under the manger of the little virgin king. He's here tonight, that holy anointing. He lets me behold his glory. As the shepherds saw his glory that night, as the wise men held his glory and they had come so far, two years traveling to get there. And then the gold, frankincense and myrrh that they had, they laid it all down. And the apostle Paul found this little king. He found the stable. Dr a doctor of medicine that became one of Paul's great workers, Luke. He found this healing power. We believe in medical science, but we know that they can just do so much with it. They can perform surgery and that's wonderful, but they cannot heal. Only God can heal. Doctors will tell you that. Doctor sends patients here to me. They've sent patients to my services in the outreach places that I go. Outreach services. The God of miracles lives tonight. And I see his glory. There's so much of the miracle power here that's from the main, from that manger, from Jesus Christ. He brought it all. The one who fed the multitudes, healed all manner of sicknesses and diseases, and gave the dead life, raised them from the dead. Life, 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 and more life. Oh, the glory of him. He's mine. 
is yours tonight. In these hundreds of people tonight, most of you have him. Some few of you do not. Why don't you come to this table? You're going to be left without him. He's soon coming. His promises are true. Every hand raised, and you in television land, I bring you to the stable now and all the power of his glory of salvation. Say, oh God, I am lost. I have sinned against you, but I have come home to never go away. You said if I'd confess my sins, you would forgive me and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. And I believe the blood of Jesus washes away all of my sins, all of my sins. Say, come into my heart, Jesus. Come on in, Jesus. Come on in. If you're a minute, say, hallelujah, Jesus is mine. Hallelujah, Jesus is mine. Oh, I want to scream it to the housetops or on the, from the housetops. Jesus was mine that night. I had found him in all of his goodness and all of his love and all of his mercy. He is Christmas and he's the only Christmas. These other people have tried to fake it, but it's celluloid. It's no good. They have to drink, strong drink. They have to get wild on drugs. We don't have to do any of that. We've taken on the mind of Christ and we have heaven's peace, heaven's glory, heaven's salvation, and we're waiting for the call. We're soon going home. And you have to have the Holy Ghost baptism, so seek him faithfully. And now for the healing touch, humble yourself under the manger now of the Virgin King. We're in the stable of glory where all were healed that night. The animals were healed and the creatures outside were healed that couldn't get in. The flowers were blessed. Dead flowers came to life. Everything came to life around there. What a night. The light shineth tonight. It's been shining all these years. It's been shining. It was shining in the angelly home in a beautiful way. It helped make me what I am today. And now, get ready for your miracle. In the name of Jesus, I come with the blood of Jesus and the divine blood that he brought, the virgin king with only divine blood, divine blood, heal through the blood name of Jesus, heal in the holy name of the Lord, heal. Feel that power going through you now as it's going through my body and the angel Lord standing right beside of me. And that angel can see all over the earth. He can see you there. Mean it, mean it, and never doubt him. The Lord said, if you doubt, don't think you'll receive anything from him. Oh, friend, I hope Reverend Angley's message was a very uplifting, special message to you. Now we have more good Christmas music and singing. Enjoy this next song by the Cathedral Trio. Holy Jesus, Son of God, sent from heaven where the angels try. His grace has come for the world to know, born of a virgin, that his blood might flow, that divine blood might flow. is now in our midst. A king in our presence cannot be dismissed. Though humble and serving in body and flesh, his divinity brings us our peace and our rest. Holy Jesus, Son of God, sent from heaven where the angels 
his trial, his grace has come for the world to know, born of a virgin, that his blood might flow, that divine blood might flow. His grace has come for the world to know, born of a virgin, that his blood might flow, the divine blood might flow.
Claus this Christmas. Come and see the one who changed your life through his precious blood. His precious blood. Open up your heart. Receive today God's only son. Savior is born, hallelujah, born, shining God's glory from heaven above. Christ is born, hallelujah, born, heavenly praise God's gift of love. Angels in the sky singing glory on high. Don't be afraid, don't run in fright, bringing good tidings and great joy. Shepherds in the field, sheep across the land Just reach out, take the baby Jesus' hand Jesus is born, hallelujah, born In the little town called Bethlehem Jesus is born, hallelujah, born In the stable next to a little lamb My Savior is born, hallelujah, born Shining God's glory from heaven above Christ is born, hallelujah, born Heavenly praise God's gift of love Kings of the East, they were so wise Saw a holy star, such a great surprise Lead us to the Savior this holy night Shines from the East, and it's so bright Looked upon the child that the prophets foretold Brought him her frankincense and gold Precious little one from heaven this night Wonderful sight, Jesus is born, hallelujah, born in the little town called Bethlehem. Jesus is born, hallelujah, born in the stable next to a little lamb. My Savior is born, hallelujah, born, shining God's glory from heaven above. Christ is born, hallelujah, born, heavenly praise God's gift of love. Jesus is born, hallelujah, born. In the little town called Bethlehem Jesus is born, hallelujah, born In the stable next to a little lamb My Savior is born, hallelujah, born Shining God's glory from heaven above Christ is born, hallelujah, born Heavenly praise God's gift of love Jesus is born, hallelujah, born In the stable next to a little lamb Hallelujah, born, hallelujah, born. It came upon 
solemn stillness lay to hear the angels sing. Still through the cloven skies they come with peaceful wings and and still their heavenly music flows for all the weary world above sacred song that is by the Singing Men's Quartet. Friend, it's sad to think that there are still many in the world today that know nothing about Jesus Christ, God's great love gift to the human race. But that's our mission in this Jesus ministry, to tell others about Jesus and eternal life. And you can help us give a special donation to the Jesus Christmas Stocking for Souls. And when you donate to the Jesus Christmas Stocking for Souls, it will help us to continue to take the love message of Jesus Christ to a lost and dying world. And God will bless you for it in many ways, spiritually, physically, and financially. Reverend Angie's a very careful steward with what people invest into this Jesus ministry. It all goes towards winning souls for the Lord. Now we have for you a special closing song. This is by Tom Neal, and he wrote this song, and I know it will bless you in a very special way. The title, The Heart of Grace. And all of you have a very Merry Jesus Christmas.
saved His only Son, the Savior God gave the heart of grace The heart of grace On Christmas Day was born The Son of God with us to be adored is paid for by the Ernest Angeli Outreach Partners.